Good evening, everyone. This is Sheila Zarkari once again from Just Local Homes here at Keller William. I am a San Francisco Bay Area realtor. Uh, for our first live stream for 2024, we are discussing retiring in style in Las Vegas. And to join us today would be two esteemed realtors from the Las Vegas area. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Karen Clark. Karen, can you tell us something, a little bit something about yourself? Um, yes, I've been a realtor in the Las Vegas area for about five years now. Um, I am also a member of Cruzette's team on the Hydron Group. And um, I just love what I do. I have a, a passion for doing it. So I, that's, that's about me. Thank you so much, Karen. Now let's welcome Cruzette Hydron from the Hydron Group. Tell us something about yourself, Cruzette. Hi, yes, I've lived in Las Vegas for over 40 years. So I know the city pretty well. I've seen it grow and I love it here. Um, whenever I try to move away, it always seems to pull me back. So I'm pretty, uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consider myself a, a native. <laughs> Very well. Well, without further ado, let's jump right in. We have a question actually that came up, which is, what makes Vegas a good investment or retirement option? Can one of you ladies take that? I would say the biggest thing is the fact that we have no state income tax. So you're, the people that are retiring here get to keep more of their pension and social security. And it just makes financial sense for a lot of people to move here. Okay. Um, can you tell us something about also uh, cost of living or lifestyle changes that they might expect moving from California to Vegas? Uh, the cost of living is definitely uh, lower. It's, it's about 2% lower than the national average, but about 23% lower than uh, LA. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Kushet, do you have anything to add? Um, yeah, I find it that it's a lot more affordable compared to other Western uh, region city, cities. Um, yeah, I'd say it's pretty affordable here, living here. The cost of living is, I'd say, lower than what you would see like LA or San Francisco. Um, there was a question or a concern actually that somebody once raised and it's about weather. Uh, obviously, California weather is pretty mild. And if you are a senior here in California, then that is something uh, to be, pre uh, be nice about California growing old here. But how about Vegas? Do you find the weather to be uh, friendly? I would say. <laughs> friendly. Well, I would and say that we, old, right? <laughs> we do have about 294 sunny days. So <laughs> okay, that is very nice indeed. Does it snow often? No. Very rarely. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Okay. Very, very, very rarely. Every once in a great while, we'll get some snow that sticks, but it's short-lived. <laughs> uh, so high weather, desert, uh, the temperature difference between morning and evening would be huge. What would be the typical range? Oops. Um, in the cooler months, like now, we're around like high 50s, low 60s, and then it gets down to maybe about like 39 ish at, for the low um, at night. Um, and that's pretty much the coldest, you know, that's our, our average cold season. All right. Yeah. Okay. But the hot season, now that, that's a whole different ball of wax. <laughs> well, what is it then? Can you tell us about that? I'll let you take it, Cruzette. <laughs> well, let me first let me first say that the best months to live in Vegas, I'd say it would be between April, May, because the temperatures are on 70, 80. And also September, October, it's around 70, 80. Like those are the best when it's spring and fall. Now, summer, when it gets really hot, I'd say it'd be like July, August. And I don't know, I don't think it lasts that long. I what, like 110 would be 
our average high. Okay. All right. Now, um, another question. Uh, what is the current market like, real estate market like in uh, Vegas? Who would take it, ladies? <laughs> So I'll say that uh, currently we're exper experiencing uh, low inventory still. Um, however, the uh, the builders are trying to make as as many homes that they're trying to get those homes out as fast as they can. Um, we're seeing the builders lower their prices at the moment and uh, providing great incentives. So a lot of our buyers are actually going to the builders. Okay. Uh, I was actually speaking earlier with Karen. You mentioned there were some incentives being provided by new builders right now. Oh, yes. there's a lot of great incentives. Um, I think the, the best one that I recently saw was um, a 2.99 the first year, 3.99 the second year, and a 4.99 rate for the length of the loan. Um, with that, they were offering like $6,000 in closing costs on top of that. So so that was the best one that I saw that I thought, oh, wow, that, that's really good. But, but all of the builders seem to have good incentives. Now, a lot of uh, the clients I talk to on this side uh, typically would want to probably purchase a home first in Vegas without retiring just quite yet. So it would probably be a rental in the first two couple of years. Uh, how is the rental, if they purchase, how is the rental market like? Could they expect like to be cash, cash, cash positive at least? I'm going to give this to the property manager. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying they, if they move to Las Vegas, they would use it as a rental property. Is that what you're saying? Uh, in the first few years, probably mm -hmm. because they're purchasing it now with the intent of retiring to Vegas in maybe two, three years down the road, which would mean that they would have to probably rent out the house a yes. uh, couple of years before actually making the retirement move. Yes. It is like? yeah. Yes, they, uh, there is cash positive in the rentals, um, the rental market right now. Okay. And in terms of appreciation, what kind of appreciation would they expect to see? As far as the the homes every year, I'm seeing about it like, well, from last year to this, um, I saw that it was like 11%. Wow. Yeah, so way, way ahead year. of national average, I would mm -hmm. say. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that, that makes for a good investment. Now, um, where should they start if they do decide to go house hunting? Where should they start? And could you probably give us an example of some of your favorite communities to start with? Um, right, right now, my favorite, I would say, is probably the Cadence area. It's got a, it's a master plan community, and it's got a, a great central park with um, a lot of fun events, which I really like. It's got a low HOA of only $50 a month. And they have uh, next gen properties and they have townhouses and they have single family homes. So it really has a wide variety of, of what everything you're looking for. All right. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Christian? I'm, I'm pretty biased. I live in Lake Las Vegas. So I'm gonna say Lake Las Vegas. <laughs> um, I see a lot of people retiring here actually from the Bay Area. Um, it's a, it, it reminds me of a resort style living. Uh, it's a golf cart community, active living, active adult, um, lots of events. It's very um, uh, community friendly, uh, family friendly. So yeah, okay. like, like aspects. We do have condominiums here. Um, they're a little bit on the higher end, um, but we also have the luxur lux luxury homes, single family homes in the area. Now, in terms of price point, um, what are where are current price points dancing around? Right, I, I want to make sure they have like uh, like an appropriate expectation of how much home prices are now in 
uh, Las Vegas. In the areas we were speaking of? Yeah, like uh, if I want to, okay, if I decide that I want to go to Vegas, how much sh should I be thinking about? Like a decent home, probably a decent condo, maybe. What price points are we looking at? This really highly depends on area. Yeah. Um, so, so like a, a townhouse um, in the areas that I was talking about, you're looking at like maybe 360,000 for the townhomes. But if you want to go more single family, um, you can, you're going to probably look at more like 450 um, mm -hmm. to 500,000 area in, and on up, depending on the size of the house, you know, there's so many variables, but um yeah. yeah so that like the median price right now is 424,000 for the Las Vegas area right that's just the median price but um Lake Las Vegas it starts around 600,000 and up. okay well thank you ladies let me just review if we have additional questions that came up Okay, oops. I think we're good. Without further ado, well, thank you, ladies. I appreciate the fact that you're sharing your insights on the Las Vegas market. And if anyone here uh, would like to reach out to you, uh, could you give us the best way to reach out? Yes, you can find me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, cruzette.lasvegasrealtor. All right, Karen? Yes, I also can. I'm on social media. So it's uh, Karen Clark, Karen underscore real estate. Um, and that, that's on Instagram or Facebook. Um, pretty easy to find. All right. And if everyone, if you didn't get that, you can just reach out to me and I'll connect you to these two beautiful ladies. With that, uh, have a good evening. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Sheila. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.